All right, welcome back folks. Let's finish this rip. For those of you who may not have seen the first video, this is a blaster, I'm sorry, a mega box. I keep calling it a blaster. It's a mega box of 2023 Topps Heritage. I had uh, 17 total packs and I believe I have eight remaining. And uh, let's jump right in and see what we can pull here. I think there's at least three of these red parallels left in this, uh, these packs. So it'll be interesting to see who I might get there. I had a Kyle Freeland who's actually starting pitching today uh, in the other pack. All right, starting out with uh, Juan Soto, Eugenio Suarez, Cal Stevenson, that's a rookie. Got the leading fireman from last year, Emmanuel Classe and Kenley Jansen from the Braves. Jesse Winker, got a Bobby Dahlbeck, a fan favorite in Boston who's likely to get traded. It's all politics. Andrew Vaughn, strange looking first baseman for the White Sox. And then we got rook, rookie pitchers. It's a cool card. I don't really know uh, any of these guys, but I do like these uh, throwback old cards. And then finally, you have a Max Fried, solid pitcher for the Braves, who's been hurt most of the year. All right, let's see what else we got here. I've been debating whether it makes sense to keep buying packs or just buying singles. I still enjoy opening packs. Um, but it really doesn't seem to pay off. So if you're doing it for the money, just go buy the cards you want. Jose Ramirez, you got a Josh Naylor, Peyton Burdick. There's a Mike Trout. It's a cool card. I don't think that's the variation. I think the variation is him sitting in the dugout, which is the short print, which is worth something. That one is just the uh, base card. Herman Marquez. There's Ty France, hard-hitting first baseman for the Mariners. Shane Bieber. Johnny Cueto, Jake Berger, who's having a fantastic season. And then here we go. We have a, the red parallel of Christian Pache. Is that how you say it? Christian Posh, outfielder for the uh, A's. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think that's the uh, chase card you're looking for with those parallels. No offense to Christian, whatever you say his last name is. All right, we got a D Dominic Smith, Miles Mikolas. There's an Alexis Diaz uh, rookie cup card, Franklin Herman. All right, then we got Jacques Peterson, Luis Reyes. Is he going to hit 400 this year? I don't know if he will, but he may uh, get close. Got a Donnie Sands, Nick Solak, and a Jameson Talian. Yeah, I don't know. To me, a raise is not the same as uh, when George Brett and obviously Ted Williams were 400 hitters. And I know Brett came a little bit short, but they're both uh, hitting for power as well as contact. So a raise has one home run on the year. He, he's a contact hitter, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't view that in the same vein as, as uh, some of the legends. All right, got Nate Fisher, Josiah Gray. There's a J.J. Blade. It's a new age performer with the rookie card. Ezekiel Tovar, he's an exciting young player for the Rockies. Jeter Downs, another rookie card. And then we got a Marco Gonzalez, I think is our third red parallel. So uh, not really excited about those red parallels. Would have loved to have had a uh, star player, maybe a rookie card, but whatever. All right, got a Zach McKinstry, stolen base leaders. I, the second time I got that in this box. Ryan Helmsley, Tim Anderson, Real Muto. Then we got a Keston Hyura, Trenton McKenzie, Brandon Crawford, and Ian Happ. I think you could safely label that pack a dud. Yeah, I'm just losing uh, my, my excitement energy for some of these. Just you're opening pack after pack, hoping to get some autograph or something worthwhile and half the time it's again Lorenzo Cain who hasn't really played in quite a while I mean he retired this year yeah but I, I still didn't realize he yeah 145 at bats last season he hasn't uh anyway whatever all right we got a Luis Patina and here we go here's a game used memorabilia this is not numbered but it is a uh Nick Castellanos who's a obviously a good player I don't know about these. It says game used. At least it's not just a made-up relic. All right, 
right, two more packs. All-Star Sega Baseman, Chisholm and Altuve. I think that's the second time I've seen that one too. Cade Cavalli, Max Stassi. Got a Kyle Tucka, Bryson Stott. Got one of these weird flashback cards. Rockefeller becomes 41st U.S. Vice President. Joe Musgrove, Nicky Lopez, and Evan Longoria. All right, guys, last pack. Wish me luck. Send me some good mojo here. All right, we got Cole Waits, rookie pitcher, Alec Burleson, Gabriel Moreno, Anthony Santander. Picked up a Charlie Morton. Kenley Jansen, Emilio Pagan, Alex Call, and a Freddie Freeman. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks for uh, checking out the break. And I cannot say that I would uh, recommend you run out and buy a whole bunch of 2023 20, Heritage. I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but whatever. That's the way it's been going with these breaks lately. So save your money, folks. Have a great one. Next uh, video up, we'll be breaking a 2020 uh, hobby box of Topps Archives. That'll be a fun one. It's my second one that I've done, and I, I do like that set. So maybe I'll have some better luck than I've had in these. So, All right, have a great weekend, all.